Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. Thanks for stopping by Nobody's Show tonight. Tonight we're going to catch a few more trucks out in the new yard as we're continuing to do walk-arounds on, uh, on all the new inventory we've got. It just came in on the small yard we bought next to us. That's almost 400 more cars and it's all old stuff. So, tonight let's kick it off with a Studebaker. Here we've got about a 49.50-ish era Studebaker truck. This was a ton and a half dually farm truck. But pretty much all there as far as cab and front clip goes. Still got the grill in it. Cool Studebaker badge along the front. Front bumper's been tweaked a little bit, but not a terrible old truck, not a ton of rust. See if we can take a peek inside of this one. Got the stock dash in her. Still got the map light in it. Still got the seat, glove box door, pretty much all intact. Even still got the sun visors in it. Or the remnants of them. The cardboard's pretty much shot. But... <coughs> and if you haven't noticed, we got a lot of junk in that too. This was apparently someone's attempt at a ramp truck or something at some point. I don't really know for sure what they were trying to accomplish with it, but it's here and I've got to move it around and do something with it because it's kind of in the way. Next to our attempt at a ramp, we've got uh, another a Dodge, a 53 Dodge truck. This also a ton and a half dually but a lot of good pieces on it. It's got the big lipped fenders, running boards. Truck looks pretty solid, not a lot of rust in it. Hood is missing. These center bars are gone out of the grill. Somebody custom made the grill. We do still have good park light housings and grill extensions on it. It's got the 53 it nose emblem on it. Come on around the other side here. Missing a fender lip over here. Let's see if we can take a peek inside of this one. Still all pretty much there. All the dash is in it. Seat's still in it. Take a look down here in the corners. Looks good and solid. Not all rotted away. Pretty decent old sheet metal still on this one. Come on around and catch the end of this row. Now, we've done a lot of videos already, and all we've done is the stuff out on the highway and the first row, as crazy as that sounds. So we're gonna come around here and take a look at about a 55 Ford truck. This was also a, this was an F600, so it was a bigger truck. But once again, this truck's been here for a long time. It hasn't been on the road. We've got a little bit of cab corner rust, but our rockers look good, our hinges look good, our floors look good. <coughs> Come on around the front and the nose is gone out of it. But here's the other door. It's still laying here for it. It's dented in the top of it, but it's solid. Left door still here. Let's see if we can make out what this said. Sheridan County Highway Department, maybe? Definitely Highway Department. It looks like maybe Sheridan County, but I'm not sure. But still some pretty good old sheet metal on this one. Rockers are good here. A little bit of rust in the floor right there. But uh, definitely not an excessive problem compared to what a lot of these cabs are looking like in today's world. Still got the original dash in it, glove box door, ashtray. I don't know why they took the other door off of it, but they did. So, anyway, that wraps up the first row, <laughs> other than the stuff out along the highway. We've got videos done on, on this much, and we have this much more to talk about. Lots of cool stuff. I hope you're enjoying the videos. It's fun doing them. I hope you guys like seeing this stuff. As always, if there's anything you need, you've got any specific questions, 
give me a call. That's the only way to get a hold of me and really have a good conversation about what you're trying to accomplish and what you're trying to do. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with us. I appreciate you spending a few minutes out of your evening with us to check our stuff out and take a walk around some of this cool old stuff. And we will catch you on the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody.